Hi, this is Steve King. And I'm Johnny Putman. This time on our video road test, we take a look at the 2016 Toyota RAV4. Specifically, the all-wheel drive Toyota RAV4 SE. The Toyota RAV4 finds itself in a very competitive compact crossover vehicle category. A few of its competitors are the Mazda CX-5 and the Honda CR-V. The RAV4 has a very inviting and, as we found out, very comfortable interior. Cargo space and hauling capability is a real plus with this RAV4. In fact, I was thrilled to have this vehicle at the garden center. When I flipped down the rear seats, I was able to carry literally dozens of very large plants. I also like the fact you get a little bit more storage space under there. It's worth noting that if you've got a pretty tall person, or a pretty person who is tall, <laughs> sitting in the back seats, that you'll have plenty of leg room. An all-black interior would not be our choice, especially in a warm climate. But when it comes to an all-black interior with fits and finishes that are excellent and the quality of materials, whether it's the plastics or the leathers, are really quite good. Plus, we like this little pop of color with the stitching along the black leather dash. Overall, I like the dash layout. Readable gauges, controls, easy to operate. You can't ask for more. Now this may be an odd complaint, but that's never stopped us before. We think that it's the angle of the windshield that causes the sun to make parts of the control panel on the dashboard virtually unreadable and it does the same thing to the navigation screen sometimes. This backup camera is very effective. It actually gives you a wider arc than most backup cameras do. Yes, you have the dreaded SUV C-pillar visibility blockage and it's worth noting that while the visibility is actually pretty decent you really need to take off your rear seat headrests, otherwise you're going to have even more compromised visibility. The center console gives you a couple of good size cup holders, as well as an extra space for your bottle of water, a place to drop your keys, and up here on the dash you get this big old cavernous tchotchke holder. Or is that your lunch compartment? I guess I've been spoiled, thanks to Hyundai in particular. Once you've had a panoramic sunroof, when you get a vehicle with a standard sunroof like on this RAV4 and you have an all-black interior, you really miss the panoramic sunroof. accelerate onto an expressway, you realize that four-cylinder engines have come a long way, baby. This Toyota has a 2.5-liter four-cylinder dual overhead cam engine. It's mated to a six-speed automatic transmission, and when you drop on the gas to get on an expressway, you go. While this four-cylinder engine really is a nice surprise because it's so darn peppy, it's equally surprising that this four-cylinder engine results in kind of mediocre gas mileage. It's rated at 22 in the city and 29 on the highway, and with 75% of our driving being on the highway, we can say we got kind of a middle-of-the-road, somewhat mediocre 25 miles per gallon. My number one complaint with this RAV4 would have to be the ride. The combination of the sportier suspension and the 18-inch wheels results in a ride that is actually very jumpy, jittery, 
not good, even on smooth pavement. So you can only imagine how awful it can be when you're on bad Chicago streets. Because this Toyota is put together so well, there's very little wind noise, but we have noticed a substantial amount of road noise and tire noise, and a kind of an odd thing, when we're shifting from drive to reverse, a weird kind of a creak, like the vehicle is saying, oh, do I have to? One of the tech goodies we really enjoyed with this RAV4 is the adaptive cruise control. It automatically slows the vehicle if traffic in front of you starts to slow down. It's a great safety feature, and it works like a charm. The adaptive cruise control is a part of the Toyota Traffic Sense suite. Another feature that we really love is the automatic high beams. You have your brights on, you're driving along, a vehicle is coming towards you, and the car senses that vehicle and automatically dims those lights. Along with blind spot monitoring, one of the things I really like is the lane departure warning. I'll show you how that works. The RAV4 is actually a very fun vehicle to drive, partly because the handling is so good. It corners beautifully, too. Now, it may seem that we've been very critical of this RAV4. Actually, it's a decent vehicle and we like it a lot. But the fact is, there is so much good competition out there, you might want to check it out before you make a decision. As we're driving it, this all-wheel drive Toyota RAV4 SE stickers at $34,595. For more information, as always, check out what our friends from Consumer Guide Automotive have to say at cgdailydrive.com.